I did some internships in mm -hmm. editing before. I once dreamed of being a movie editor. Ooh, that's a big <laughs> job. Back actually. in the day, yeah, that, that back in the day, I actually did edit a movie, a short movie back then, but and documentaries and stuff. Ooh. But uh, but it's been what about eight, seven, eight years since I last edited anything. So I got it. I got back to Adobe Premiere, which is the one that I like yeah. to use. Uh, so I got back into it. I was like, damn. I actually do I remember this and I was so surprised that I my fingers were moving like they never forgot in the sense of I knew all the the shortcuts still or at least the main ones like mm -hmm. but buttons what to press to cut and etc because it remained the same uh, so uh, my first edit has been clunky it took a while but I don't know two three four videos after I'm so much faster and I'm kind of back I know where things are in the new uh, mm -hmm. Adobe Premiere suit, like I know where to find effects I need and etc. Uh, so it I think it makes it easier to edit to edit your own lectures because I mean I, I get to listen to my own audio to my own <laughs> voice for uh, at least an hour. And that's the thing; it's like I despise it, but at the end of the day, I'm not the one editing them, you know. So I know my editor loves my voice by this point, but I mean to edit your own lectures. I mean, I bet there's a lot of differences because in a podcast, you know, it's an easier setting. It's an easier conversation. Whilst there, it's like everything you say word for word, students will analyze it, dismantle <laughs> it and take it as religious claims. 